Everything in electrical is a switch. Do not be intimidated. Let me show you. This is a driver cabinet. I've also got a couple of switches planned on going here for smart control. The Christmas lights come in here. In addition to that, got a doorbell transformer. First thing to do is mount these terminal strips and your drivers. No special orientation here. I was mainly just going for getting everything in here. I can make jumpers in between, so here we go. These are all the low volt side to some under cabinet lighting. This is just 24 volt. I use the black as my negative and the white as my positive. Once I figure out my orientation of these drivers and how I'm gonna feed everything from down there, then I'll get these hooked up. Here's the next step. So I'm getting these terminal strips, these drivers tied in. This driver is going to be for this row. The output I took to the switch legs for all these. So these are all 24 volt. And then this is the input. I've got these little ties that I can bridge gaps in there. So my objective here is just continuity. This was from everything's hooked up on the load side. Now I just need to hook the line side in and that driver is good to go. So this driver and this driver are fed from one wire that's a four wire. One side of the wire is gonna go to this driver, the other side's gonna go to this one. So I'm gonna loop this wire onto this line side of this terminal strip so that then I can just tie all four of those wires in on this bottom side. Then I'll do the same thing here as I did here. I'll just bring that over to this terminal strip for the switch leg. So that's the load side of these drivers. I made up a couple of the line side. Now this whole side's filled out. Once this is done, it's so easy to maintain, know where all this is. It's easy to figure out, troubleshoot. That's the benefits of doing something like this. So I realized I needed another driver because the toe kick lighting in my kitchen pulls too much power. I wanna put a good product out there for contractors that we can stand behind warranty and not get callbacks because we don't want that, it's a waste of time. So if you guys want these drivers, um, I'm actually gonna pull this out so that I can just screw it into this cabinet. But drivers, LED tape light, connectors, it's all on the website. It's everything my business uses and it's the best that I've found for not having callbacks. Got this driver installed, made up to the terminals. Here, I just brought these wires over to tie into the line side of this driver. I've got two switch legs here. I plan on separating the under cab and above cabinet, but for now, they want to switch them together. So in the future, if these ever need to be changed or separated, I can just add another driver in here somewhere and then just bring my hot neutron ground up here and tie to that. So it'll be a pretty quick, easy add if they ever need to switch that separately. This is the line. It is hot, but I'm just gonna hook this up. This is the last thing. And then the driver cabinet is done after I zip tie, but I'm out of zip ties, so that is not gonna happen today. Put these ties in, and that's all that's left. That's a wrap.